It's early spring in Ithaca. In fact, it's May Day. Spring flowers are out. Gay wings, daffodils, and down by the pond uh, where I am now, I'm beginning to hear uh, the sounds of toads. The males come and the females come uh, to the water in the spring uh, to lay their eggs. The males come in and they look uh, for any uh, possible female. Uh, they trill, making the song. They apparently have real difficulty telling the difference between males and females because any toad seeing another toad tries to grasp it with its arms and if the toad is a male, it gives a squawk and then the other male lets go. Male toads also sing to attract females. They inflate their air sacs and produce a loud trill. With a pond full of male toads, the sound can be deafening. But presumably, it is irresistible to a female toad. If a male is lucky enough to find a female, he grasps her firmly. As she begins to lay eggs, he fertilizes them. Toads lay four to eight thousand eggs in long strings of jelly. but a pair of toads is often assaulted by other males trying to replace the male on top. The couple will often dive and try to hide among the plants to escape the attentions of amorous males. but a single male can always be hopeful. The adult toads leave the pond. In our case, the congregation lasted only a single day. The eggs take three to 12 days to hatch. Little black tadpoles swim in the shallow water near the shore. They feed on plants and algae. Gradually, they grow legs. Their tail becomes shorter. And after 40 to 70 days as a tadpole, they become a miniature toad. To begin with, the tiny toads sit at the water's edge. My finger will give you a sense of scale. Here is a fully formed baby toad ready to leave the pond and grow into a larger adult. Here, a young one from my garden 
sits on a leaf, and then hop it goes off to explore the world.